What's up everybody? Zach Sobel here, Performance Designs, and it's time for another Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to show you how to do a proper rigger roll without using the packing tabs. So it turns out nice and neat, just like this one right here. This can be helpful for you when you want to store your canopy and it is not in the container, or if you sell a canopy and want to ship it like a pro. Let's jump into it so you can see how it's done. Richie from the PD Parachute Maintenance Department will take it from here. So the first thing you want to do is to take your lines and straighten them out. Make sure that your slider and continuity is good and clear. Then you can move your slider back. Come up to your canopy, then bring it towards you until you get to the end cell. Then you'll grab the nose by the center rib, then set it down and make your way to the tail holding it down trying to make a nice flat line. Put your arm down and slide it across the canopy to let the air out. Then do the same with the remaining cells making sure you line up the nose with the one you just laid and keeping it straight. Once you reach the very end of the other end cell, make sure your stabilizers are lined up. Then proceed to push all the air out one more time with your arm from tail to nose. Now put your arm on it at about 3 quarters aft. Then with your other arm, grab it from all the way underneath and fold it over. Then pull all your seams together, flattening it and straightening it out and making sure you put pressure with your hands to hold it down. Then you fold it one more time about halfway of the first fold, keeping everything straight. We repeat the same steps with the nose side. Now we proceed to daisy chain our lines, starting a little bit away from the soft links, making our way back to the canopy. Make sure your slider grommets are close to touching the line tabs so we can bring our daisy chain as close to the canopy as you can. When you get to the end, grab your slider and pass it through the last loop, then give it a little tug. Now you want to grab your lines and lay them in the center of the canopy. Then fold the front half into the back half. Holding the bottom with your knees, you are going to grab underneath the canopy about halfway with your arm and fold the top under. If you have a bigger size parachute, you might need to fold it under one more time. Now with your bag ready, you are going to slide it over your canopy like you do with your D-bag. Once the canopy is inside the bag, you can get some more of the air out with your knees before closing it. So there you have it. I hope this showed you how it's done. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next Tip Tuesday.